Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Greg. I'm going to go to the cryptocurrency market, Bitcoin, and to some other stuff that I've been uh, talking about. Uh, I made it up two videos ago on uh, for Bitcoin. And the reason I'm going to make this video is because I've been going through the, uh, you know, through Twitter and the bears are still out in full force. They're thinking it's a, uh, a bounce. And it could be, guys. You can't rule that out. But you have to realize, too, that uh, I do pay attention to the bears and um, they they get just like the bulls are at the top. OK, um, you have to take that in consideration that they're just going to um, be in a situation where in the in the markets where until they have a confirmation of an actual trend reversal and then that's when they'll go they'll go bullish or they'll finally admit defeat it's the same thing with the bear the bulls at the top really the the bulls didn't really when it came to bitcoin the hardcore moon boys didn't admit defeat until what bitcoin went up to 47,000 they said it was off to the races again and then it started doing it it started going down it's the same thing. You have to take that into consideration with the uh, the bears at the bottom, too. Okay? So I'm not eliminating. There's all kinds of possibilities and uh, different directions that Bitcoin can go. But one of the things is that using only the Bitcoin chart is not a good idea. You have to bounce it off other assets that are related to Bitcoin and go over other assets, even as deep as going in the traditional markets, because traditional markets have more downside. But I'm going to go over Bitcoin right now. And, you know, off of this wave, it did hit 1.618. Um, and it's going up there to reach it on uh, logarithmic two. So you more than likely have a very, very strong impulsive move. Um, here's this trend right here. It broke through that. Once it broke through this, and then it broke through this one, um, and it starts hitting these numbers of 1.618. I'm like, okay, there's definitely some change going on for sure. Okay. Um, now the argument's going to be too, it's right here at this massive resistance level that it came up to at 21,196, right? Um, however, with this wave structure up and up and away, back down into a second, up into a third. It could be coming down into a fourth, and then that's what the chance it'll have to break through that uh, area right here. So there, there could be. Don't don't be shocked if you see a correction coming in here too. It'll probably be about as long as this one. Uh, what was this uh, correction right here, guys? You think about this. This went into a wave, and then actually just played in there for like only five days. And if you take this whole thing, you could say like 16, 15 days. So you could have a two week deal in here and then you might see something thrust up. Okay. So really what you want to look for to get complete confirmation with Bitcoin, in my opinion, is if you see, if you see some and come down into a fourth wave and then you have a fifth wave go up something like that, maybe hit like uh 22, let me take that off 22 or 23,000 or something like that. And then it comes back down and you see, you have your clear evidence of your uh, divergence right here, guys. Okay. You have your clear evidence of your divergence and you'll see it in the uh, RSI. And then, you know, you'll have another shot of probably a three-way swing back down into these areas again, and then it'll go off. And then the bears will be back in this area, even right here and then right here. Okay. Assuming that this is the change in trend and you have good evidence to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over another asset, which is Polkadot. And here's Polkadot. I posted this on Twitter and it's a good asset to bounce off of. And it came back down and it shot out of there really, really well too, guys. Telling you that it completed this this uh, trend right here, that it completed that. Okay, just because it busted past this area, that area, it's working on these other areas. So um, it's the same thing with polka dot guys. So polka dot is definitely telling you, take a look at, uh, I'm going to go out to a weekly chart on polka dot that it's clearly made it this, uh, change and reversal down here. And then on the weekly chart in the uh, RSI, you can clearly see that I have the trend. Let me bust this open for you. The touch there, the touch there, as far out as I could get it. Okay. As far as I can get it, and then it busted up there. So more than likely with polka dot, you know, you might see you really want to see something like this, and then it might come back down, touch it, and then it's out of there. Okay, with polka dot. So and then let me go into the uh, the two week MACD with polka dot. Okay, Did you guys see that is that uh, with polka dot you do have this right here, guys, um, right there, right there in that area. Let me uh, put this all back together. So 
I mean, basically right now time, just looking at polka dot guys, this is the area, you know, just with this whole correction, um, how deep it went and the reaction is this is an area for polka dot is common sense, I think, to be looking to see if it's going bullish. Okay. So if, if polka dot is potentially going bullish, then, you know, more than likely Bitcoin has a really good shot of that too. GBTC chart is one I've been paying attention to. Now this is, uh, Assuming that nothing's going to be happening with, um, you know, that whole situation right there, that that event that could be going on between uh, GBTC, uh, DCG, and Gemini, et cetera, and all that, guys. Okay, so here's the here's the deal with uh, GBTC. I'm going to put the uh, MACD back out on the MACD right here. You know, you do have its first initial um, little green in the uh, histogram, slowing the momentum, and you do have that bullish cross. I can go down. I'm going to show you on the uh, two-week um, RSI, uh, putting it out as far as I could get it, as far as I could get it, and then it came back down here, and it had a nice reaction out of there on the two-week uh, RSI, giving you a pretty good signal that there's a reversal coming up. Um, I was looking at this, and it did come up to this strong resistance area. Um, you know, you can't rule out a one-two, and it can pop, uh, blast it up into a four, and it could come back down. OK, that to me is not too much of a big deal with this asset. Um, you know, it's got so much negative sentiment. But if you think about this a little bit, let's just say that it is going to do something like that. And it doesn't have a bottom, it has a one, two. It's doing a diagonal and it comes into a four and it, it goes back down like that. Um, at the same time, Bitcoin has gone up so much it could do a correction into a fourth wave or maybe Bitcoin rips off this next wave. And then it does that correction over here. And at the same time the GBTC will come down and complete it if perhaps it's not done, okay? But either way, the, the signals here for GBTC, in my opinion, okay, in my opinion, that it's either done there or it's, it came up, test it, and it's going to finish it off right here, come back down to this trend, put it on law of, uh, on linear, come back down to this trend over in this area, and maybe have wicks or a little bit of uh, time below that trend and then get back out of there, kind of like uh, XRP. Okay, XRP, I've said it previous in my videos, I'm not an XRP fan. I think there's better assets you can be in, but you just never know. Maybe XRP is going to rip. You just don't know with cryptocurrencies and rip off that wave higher, you know, what the maxis want to go up to, these, these $20 numbers or something like that. But it can come down back down below there, guys, and then get out of there and finish it off if it's not done there. But still, clearly to me, the, the signals are it's coming to end something here. Or one more back down, rip out of there, and it's it's uh, it can get out of there, guys. So that's how I look at it with GBTC. Everything looks pretty good. Signals in the RSI, MACD. Um, signals in the RSI, MACD. Polka dot, good strength. Um, same thing with Bitcoin. And then MicroStrategy 2, taking a look at this. Been going over this Bitcoin proxy. Uh, Michael Saylor's deal, his stock has a lot of Bitcoin. I think the third, second or third largest uh, Bitcoin holder. And the question is, made in my previous videos is it done or does he have one more low to go so right now don't have it yet but you do have a shot as you can clearly see a one two potentially a third wave back down into a fourth like bitcoin right okay just like bitcoin and then going up to a fifth and then over here for micro strategy you know this could be telling you that the correction is over with and then micro strategy do a three wave swing and then it can get out of there okay so that's why i would expect be looking for with micro strategy okay so th this here would be a uh, precarious scenario for some uh, guys that are trading because they might think that okay this is this is part of the, the wedge and it could come back over here and touch it again it could look like it because it could come all the way back down here to the the second wave area potentially and then get out of there so that's what i'm looking at with micro strategy the the signals are looking decent um with it in my opinion, the signals are looking decent with this too, in my opinion. And then just going over some other cryptos that look like they've had a bottom. Like I went over synthetics, I went over uh, Polkadot. I think HBAR is another one. Um, Aptos would be another one. Um, potentially even Solana. Solana has gone up so much. It looks like it may have formed a bottom too. And then the signals here with uh, Bitcoin, trying to put it all together. Just going off solely the Bitcoin chart. Obviously, you want to Keep your eye on the Bitcoin chart. If you're going to be putting your uh, your, your hard-earned cash and money into an asset like this, 
but you got to bounce it off the other assets just before you come to jump to any conclusion. Obviously, it has a little bit more proving to do. I'll agree with that. But to not consider being a little bit more bullish right now, in my opinion, is a little bit foolish just looking at other assets and going through the cryptocurrency market and everything else. So that's my take on it. If you did make it all the way to the end of my video, I do appreciate you. Thank you very much. Do me a huge favor again. Drop that like. Hit that subscribe button. Peace.